Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman, your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com. I'm out, obviously experimenting as always with you, and I wanted to make a quick video um, about an important concept when collecting grids. So actually I wrote, published this book recently, and in the book I go over this topic. Please, I recommend you get the book, LearnGPR.com. Uh, you can grab it, or at Amazon.com you can grab it. And I talk about you know best practices for collecting data. And when you're collecting grids, you know, there's two different ways you can do it. So you can go, go ahead and flip this around. All right, you can go kind of in one direction. Let me get my hand in one direction and then pull it all the way back and go in another direction. Pull it all the way back, go into another direction. Or you can go down, turn around, and then come back down to this baseline and turn around and go back up and collect data again. Well, there are benefits and consequences to doing either of those. Whether you go in the same direction, pull it back, go same direction, pull it back, go same direction, pull it back, and keep doing that in the forward direction only, or going down, coming back, going down, coming back. There's benefits and drawbacks. And so I just want to show you a comparison between the two. I basically collected the exact same um, grid twice. In this case, and you'll see which direction the arrow is going. The arrow is going forward, which means I collected it in the same direction every time. And you can see that this pipe uh, that we delineated is really well defined, okay? Here it is in profile view, right? That's clear hyperbola. You have the trench right in there. Um, and then this is the pipe, you know, that we, that we uh, uh, image. Now, if I switch this over, okay? In this case, I went back and forth, back and forth collecting data. In this scenario, it took me half the time. It was quicker. But you can see there's a clear difference in the quality and the definition of the of the image when I went back and forth and alternating, right, compared to when I went in the same direction, if I can pull it over this way, right? So going in the same direction, it's very well defined. In this case, right, the edges were really nice. Here, as you can see, um, the data gets pulled in different directions depending on which direction I'm actually collecting in. And it's because there's, in every single system, there's going to be a slight delay. You know, you may, uh, um, you know it, may, it may slip more on one side than the other side. You may have topographic differences on one side. And here I have kind of slight topographic differences. Uh, so there's going to be reasons that alter your turn rate, right, on your, on your encoder. Um, and so <clears throat> what you can see is this point very clearly defined. Same exact depth. Same exact target, in this case, back and forth alternating, and we get choppiness in our visualization of it, um, but it took me half the time. In this case, I can get over. It took me twice as long, but it's clearly defined. The edges are really nice. There is no pulling in different directions. Um, it's just really, really uh, uh, well, well imaged. So which one is the right one for you? It's gonna depend on what your, let's flip this around. Which is the right one for you? It's gonna depend on what uh, uh, the goals of the project are. If you're gonna present these kinds of images to a customer, then I highly recommend that you do them in the same direction over and over again. If you're not presenting them, uh, you know, you may wanna go back and forth. If, if time is a factor uh, and you're almost doing an add-on of a grid um, to the project because you have an extra 20 minutes or 25 minutes and you kinda wanna uh, uh, um, define it a little bit better in three dimensions, then maybe you go back and forth alternating. I'll leave it up to you, make good decisions out there, my job is to bring you what you know are the best practices, what are the outcomes for doing, making choices. Um, so I hope that this was helpful. Go to learngpr.com, put your name and email address in. We'll send you videos like this every single week. Please share this video around. Click the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate the subscription. Um, I want to help as many people as I can. And again, if you have not gotten a book yet, please go and get your copy of the book at learngpr.com. Uh, we still have it on a slight discount. Uh, we will not have it on a discount for long, um, but please go grab one. Thank you so much. I wish you the best.